so be it. Jedi. What's going on guys, back in with another video. As collectors, we often find ourselves with certain challenges and dilemmas. One of which could be your budget. Sometimes you don't have enough money to buy the figures or collectibles you want. Sometimes it's space. You don't have enough room for all the stuff you want. And sometimes your wife tells you if you buy another figure, she's going to kill you in your sleep. It may not apply to everybody. But I think the biggest issue a lot of us face is we cannot find contentment in what we already have. So I'm going to go over some ways that I sort of approach that and how maybe you could apply that to your collecting outlook. So what I mean by contentment is pretty self-explanatory. Be happy with what you got so that you can appreciate it and not spend so much money on stuff you may want or sometimes you just buy stuff because you want to buy something. So the way I look at that is set yourself a time frame. I'm only going to buy X amount of things in this window of opportunity. So whether you buy one thing per week or two weeks or month, it doesn't matter because depending on what you collect, that's a big aspect of it too. If you collect cheaper items, by all means, you could purchase more of them in theory. So me personally, I'm sort of focusing on hot toys. So if you don't know, now you do. I've talked about it enough times to get the point across. So especially with hot toys and larger ticket items like that, money doesn't grow on trees. Because hot toys are so expensive, you have to be a lot more selective about what it is you want to buy. So for me personally, I tackle my favorite characters. Um, I sort of stick to a certain time period. So I'm kind of not really delving into the original trilogy, especially not the sequels. So that helps wrap up the options. Another thing is I try to not buy that often. And as I, as I mentioned earlier, because these figures are so expensive, spending two, three hundred dollars on a figure every week or whatever it may be isn't really doable. So initially I said, I'm going to buy a figure every two months. Well, I went and bought six within six months. So kind of broke my own rule there. So now that I've got my display cabinet put together and I've got all my eggs in one basket, so to speak, my ducks in a row. I can sit back and relax and just appreciate what I have for now. I don't have any big plans of buying anything. I have a couple pre-orders, but those will come whenever, you know. So I'm just enjoying what I got so that I don't get in over my head. And I know this is kind of biased towards hot toys as that's what I'm into at this point in time. This, as I said, applies to everything pretty much. If you're into Lego, which Lego is very expensive, I believe, and a lot of the sets are astronomically priced, that is another way to approach it. I know that if you want older sets, you're going to pay a lot more than retail for them. And even the smaller sets, you're going to spend $30, $40. So, as I said, this applies to not just Hot Toys or Lego or whatever it is you collect. You need to learn to be happy with what you got because you fall into this constant cycle of cool, my figure just came in or my collectible just came in. What's next? What am I going to buy next? And I, I found myself doing that and not just with Hot Toys with Funko was that was my big uh, collecting niche for a while. Spend 20, 25 dollars on a figure. Boom. Next week and so on. Then I'm buying, you know, four or five figures a month, which compared to Hot Toys isn't, isn't very much, but you're still spending upwards of $100 plus dollars on these figures that you're kind of just always looking for that next fix. I mean, believe it or not, we have a sickness. We have a disease. We are addicts. Now, I know collecting isn't as bad as many other addictions, so I'm only joking. But as I said, try to set yourself time constraints, set budget constraints. I'm only going to spend X amount of dollars in between these two windows. you just got to set yourself some, some ground rules. You've got to say, I'm only going to spend this amount of money. I'm only going to buy figures this often. And you've got to stick to it because if you don't have integrity, you're going you're, you're gonna to fall apart and you're going to end up spending way more money than you can afford or way more money than you want to spend. You're going to engulf so much available space that you have for your collection that you're going to be sitting there scratching your head about what am I going to do with this? Do I really need this? Do I need to get rid of this? I mean, it's a dilemma we all face and something I think we all are going to have to suffer. So that's just my opinion on that and maybe something you could 
apply to yourself. If you're not already doing this, I advise you do so because it can, it's a slippery slope. You can, you can fall off real quick. Anyway, guys, that's all I got on this topic. So if you enjoyed the video, please check out more videos. And if you haven't, please leave a like and a comment to let everybody know that you like this video and share it to them because our goal is to grow, baby. See you on the next one.